Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a mini review on the new Cover FX um, custom drops. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so the product looks like this. It comes in 0.5 fluid ounce and this is the packaging. It's really cute and this is the bottle. The bottle, it's really small, but just keep in mind that that's the whole point of this uh, foundation. It's custom drops, therefore the little drops are really, really pigmented. So that's one thing that you have to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, this is how the packaging looks like. It's really small and compared to the NARS um, foundation, you guys can see you know the difference anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and look at my phone right now just for the information so this foundation comes in 24 shades and it retails for 44 dollars, which is kind of expensive for a small bottle but just you know like i said just keep in mind the drops are going to be um, really pigmented now the color ranges from neutrals pinks and goldens so right here if you see in, like on top of the packaging on top of the um cover right here you're gonna see either the n the p or the g which basically means neutral pinks and golden i got it in the color g50 just because like i said a more of a yellow golden um, undertone and then you're going to see the number which i am in g50 so i was in between two shades i was in between um i think it was g40 and g50 um but yeah this one just suits me a little bit better and i do have lighter foundations in my collection so i that's why i wanted to buy this one just in case if it worked you know with my lighter foundations i can just go ahead and mix it so the whole purpose of this um, foundation is that it's customizable you can go ahead and customize it with primers moisturizers your previous i mean your current foundation i've used this by itself and i noticed that um, it gives me like a nice coverage but um i prefer to combine it with you know like a foundation or anything like that so if you want like a sheer look uh, you can go ahead and add one to two drops and then three to four it's kind of like a full to medium medium to full coverage so that's how you know um, you know how many drops you can go ahead and um, you know add into your you know moisturizers or primers now some people are you know kind of like on the fence whether they should get it or not um, I think it's everything up to you um, if you're the type of person who likes tinted moisturizers and you know CC creams and all that stuff and the benefits of it but you want a little bit of more coverage I think this one is pretty good um, you just need a you know like i said a drop or two of this one and you're gonna get a full coverage a tinted moisturizer look if that makes sense okay so this one it says that you can um, mix it with your moisturizers or primers i personally don't like to do that um, i need to have my um, my moisturizer to sink, sink into my skin and make sure like it's you know it's there it's soaked in and then my primer i make sure that it's there on my skin touching my skin instead of you know mixing it with this that's the way i like it so yeah i apply everything directly onto my face and not mix it with the um custom drops because i don't like the finish of it um i feel like it runs you know like it breaks out on my skin and you know i don't like that so that's why i like to add my moisturizer first then my primer whatever primer it is um basically i use a mattifying primer it doesn't matter if it's from the drugstore or high end okay so one of the primers that i like to use it with it's this one this is the makeup forever mattifying primer and this this is the Mesh Bo Smashbox uh, Pore Minimizing Primer. I use this one first just because I want like a matte canvas. I'm a, I want something mattifying on my skin because it doesn't matter if it's winter, summer, whatever it is. Uh, I tend to get really, really oily. So I need something that, you know, kind of like controls my oil. And then this one is just for the purpose of my pores. And uh, so far these two, I like them, you know, in a combination. I did apply this by itself and I do like the coverage. I'm not going to lie. I do like it but I prefer to combine it with a um, like a foundation now the tools that I like to use it's um, either my um, F80 and this one which is the angle kabuki brush from RC cosmetics or my beauty blender which is this one right over here and it's really dirty so yeah, I used it this morning. This is the way that I like to apply my foundation. So usually I like to apply my foundations and I like to do re my reviews starting like from 5.30 a.m. to like when I take off my makeup. Right now it's around 4 o'clock and I this is how the foundation looks like. Now keep in mind that I did blot uh, once. It's like around 1 o'clock. So I didn't blot between the times of 5.30 and 1 o'clock. So, so far it's pretty good. Now it hasn't been too, too hot right here. So maybe 
maybe like when it gets you know super hot I do have to blot like within the six five six hour mark but that's okay with me because I know that I, I do get extremely oily but yeah this is how the foundation looks like if I sound a little bit like you know shaky it's because I'm sick again so also what I like about this is that it's up to you the level of coverage that you want so I don't know I just really like it and I like the uh, the concept of it also I have mixed it with my you know current um, foundation from my drugstore foundation which is the Maybelline poreless um, poreless something uh, foundation from the drugstore and I do like the coverage of it of that one but I think it's too too way too much because that one is a full coverage and with this one um, not so much I really didn't like the coverage I tried it with my Garnier um, BB cream which is the oil control one and that one it's kind of like for me it's a full coverage for BB cream um, but yeah I just want a little bit of more coverage and I do like the coverage of that one so just give it a try um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it as long as you take care of your skin first um, like I said I don't mix it with my moisturizer or my primer my favorite combo right now it's these two right now and I don't know why maybe it's because it's not summer yet but it's not it's not too too hot right here so I'm not sweating that much but um, yeah I like these two combos I add one single um, pump of this foundation and maybe like two or three drops of this the cover FX one and I just blend it together it doesn't look cakey it doesn't sink into my fine lines and my pores are not emphasized which I love the longevity of this foundation by itself it's not that long so therefore I like to use my Estee Lauder um, double wear foundation because that one just grabs into my skin and just it stays in place so I like to mix it with this one and it just gives me like a nice coverage like I told you guys like I just add a little bit drop just a single drop of the a single pump of any foundation and um, this one is just like a nice perfect combination this one by itself it doesn't hold up that long so with the other foundation the double wear foundation it just extends the longevity of the of the wear do I like the concept of it of course do I like the price not so much the price um, but anyways I mean those are you know the prices of high-end foundations but what it does and what it claims to do I mean it claims to do that now if you're oily extremely oily this one nowhere in here says that it's you know going to control the oil so just keep that in mind you're gonna try this by itself just make just keep in mind it's not gonna you know last you for a long time and nowhere in here says that it's you know a uh, long wear foundation or anything like that so yeah uh, I do like it just for the fact that it claims um, it does what it claims and yeah I mean if a foundation you know says it's going to last you like 16 hour and it just lasts you maybe like eight hours then of course I'm not gonna like it because you know obviously it's not true but this one overall I do like it I do like the concept and right here in the packaging it doesn't say that it comes with um, that it has SPF so I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any SPS SPF or anything like that it does say that you have to shake it so make sure you shake it really really well okay so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoy this video hopefully I helped you guys so um, that's the end of the video Thank Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye everyone!